Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick, aka Nick D. Drum Skills, and uh, yeah, doing a commentary today over some uh, actually very old um, Black Ops gameplay. But uh, I picked it because it was probably the only sniper commentary match I had. And uh, sort of the reason is sort of behind uh, that um, today my commentary is going to be based on sort of the latest influx of comp like big name commentators who are really uh, sort of talking shit about people who make montages and go for trick shots and whatnot. And uh, I just want to say in the beginning before this commentary really gets started that I don't even really know this gameplay was probably me just back when I couldn't even quick see at all with this gun because this is probably like day two of the game. <laughs> So, uh, just pretty much disregard the gameplay. I just put it up because it was the only sniper gameplay I had, which kind of... I mean, usually when I use a sniper, I go for trick shots and uh, epic stuff, so... I don't try to actually hide and use a sniper the way I guess it's intended to be, but at the same time, it's Call of Duty, so, I mean, who, who really gives a shit? Um, anyways, so, the two main people that I've seen recently who have sort of been talking down on snipers and just sort of people who make montages in general would have to well they were hutch and i just saw power puncher actually recently and it's kind of angering me because people like this i mean they're mostly famous a lot of montage makers aren't as famous as these people because commentaries are what pretty much get you the machinima contracts and so on so i mean it's only you know fair that of course they'd be the people that have the more sub like, substantial subscribers that you know I, I don't know how to really put it but I mean pretty much more people that commentate and stuff uh, they have more of the mission in my contract so they get seen more so I'm kind of trying to make this video to sort of stand up for the people who are montage makers and snipers and whatnot because I don't know like they're saying how uh, because if you if you're someone who goes for trick shots you know you're pretty much just you're wasting your team's time you're gonna lose all the time you're gonna do really shitty on your scores and just all this crap and it's I mean it's true obviously if you're sniping especially in black ops trying to quickscope ten nine times out of ten you're probably gonna you know mess up your shot just because the sniping is not that good and also the patch by the way is total bullshit it really doesn't even fix the snipers to me I feel like I've gotten and even my friends have said that uh, some of my friends who I wouldn't coming. really say are like supreme sniping people, like quick scopers. Even they say that they've noticed that it seems like you get more hit markers for some reason. I don't know why. It may be because the hitboxes are adjusted so you can hit not exactly on someone and still kill them. So it's like you're getting more hit markers because you're not hitting where you would have if you're not trying to kill before. I don't really know. But the thing is, I mean, when I play Call of Duty. I mean, I'm a person who does commentaries and actually makes montages. I mean, I edit montages too, so I pretty much do three variables of this community. So I see a lot of clips, and I also know a lot about, you know, like playing more competitively, even if you're playing in a pub match and you're just trying to get, you know, a gameplay. I don't. I mean, in this game, Black Ops alone, on uh, PS3, I believe I'm positive uh, that I, I have a positive KD, but. That's because I'm PS3, I don't know, I just, I didn't really, let's put it this way, Black Ops, I'm first prestige, and I'm going to get to 50, I'm stopping, I just want to prestige one for the extra class. Uh, I've pretty much gotten this whole way, about 95%, just sniping. And it hasn't been a fast process, but I really didn't care, because I just wanted to snipe. And I've hit a ton of clips, which is, you know, by the way, I make, well, <laughs> Kind of, this is kind of random, but I mean, I'm making montages that are in the works that will be coming out in the next few weeks because I have Christmas break and whatnot. But, um, I don't know. I think it's just a little unfair and immature that these big name guys are sort of coming down on montage makers and snipers and sort of just, just kind of like calling them out, you know, saying basically that, you know, you're just, you're ruining the game for everybody. And I don't think that's true at all. I mean, the only time where the sniping had gotten ever annoying to me in Call of Duty was when a lot of the montage starting to get even bigger than they were and editing was getting really big and all that stuff uh, and it was probably around the time that like Joe Handsome and whatnot came out and people like Small Beans and uh, Amoody Swede got more famous and whatnot but um and that was like early well I was like late Modern Warfare 2 kind of when people started getting more montages in places like Dev Cinema and 
Hazard Cinema started getting bigger and whatnot. But um, I, you know, around then that's when a lot of people started sniping. A lot of people were like, oh, you know, I could, I see these guys. I, I may see X, I see X-ray Soldier, Wallbeans, a Moody Sweet. I want to snipe too. You know, I want a chance to make a beast ass montage. <laughs> so that's. The only time it got annoying me because I mean almost 90% of the Call of Duty population that started sniping, and while it is annoying, I didn't really care about it that much. And I know I have like real life friends who they don't, you know, they don't, they couldn't give a shit about sniping. Like you know, they'd rather hard scope than get a quick scope or a no scope. So, and I'm kind of opposite. I mean, I'm trying to be, I'm open minded about everything. Like. You know, like trying hard or whatever, you know, whatever you're trying to, like, whatever kind of playstyle you're trying to pull off, but I, if I had to pick one, I'd definitely prefer sniping, like, you know, aggressive sniping, I guess that's someone like Hutch would call it, but I don't see, like, the big problem, like, honestly, this game is quite balanced, and if you can snipe good in this game, you're probably better than a lot of the people who actually do, like, legitimate commentaries, like, if you get a good score with a sniper, and you're, you know, you're playing someone aggressive and whatnot, you're probably better than most of the commentators out there because most of the commentators will pick an easy mode gun like a 74U, which personally I don't think is very easy mode. I mean, a lot of people seem to complain about it, like it's so overpowered and it's not really, I don't think. Especially not compared to any gun in Modern Fair 2. Uh, so I don't, you know, I see this whole thing as unfair, like that they're sort of blaming snipers for ruining the game for everybody else because they're not really, and it's especially not in Black Ops, I don't see that happening. And. You know, I don't know what to really say about it. It's just sort of ridiculous, and I kind of want to make a quick video about it, just to get something out there, you know, to say something to the community that would be meaningful, that sort of would up would uphold the other side of the argument for this, because this is just total bullshit. Um, but anyways, video is coming to a close. I wanted to get this out. I might do more commentary soon. I mean, I'm definitely gonna do more commentaries, but I might talk more about this uh, soon because I got the three weeks off now, so. I mean, I got, while I got a lot of montages to do, because, uh, you know, sniping and stuff's big, um, yeah, anyways, uh, happy holidays, guys, more montages and, sh and shit like that coming out soon.